Hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you on how to create an interactive UI design and prototype in Adobe XD. Let's get started. Launch Adobe XD and select an artboard, choose iPhone X. It is now loaded. First thing you have to do is to rename the artboard into main. And choose the right color for your artboard. Now, export the file you wanted for your design on the main artboard. But this time I just drag and drop the PNG file. Resize the icon to width 50. Create a text next to the icon. Resize and choose the color white for it to be visible. Now, create a rectangle with a size of 375 by 225. Remove the border and choose black color, change the opacity to 50%. Set the radius from the top left and top right to 25. Find the arrow down icon from the plugins of your Adobe XD. I'm using icons for design. If you already have the icon, Resize it to width 50 and change the color to white. Set the opacity to 50. Now, design the rectangle below. This time, I'm going to put my channel name and logo. Group the assets for you to be able to move it without losing each other. Duplicate the artboard and rename it. Oh! I forgot to put the status bar design for my artboard. Let's put it right there to make our design looks good. Now. Redesign the artboard depending on your idea. In a duplicate artboard, resize the rectangle below to height of 700. And put all the assets to the top.
I'm done. The next thing I have to do is to duplicate the current artboard for me to be able to create a new design for the specific asset from the last artboard. All right. Before we proceed to prototyping why don't you hit the subscribe button and that bell icon. That will make me happy. Thank you. Now, let's prototype the artboards. When prototyping the artboard and the assets, set the trigger to tap and click Auto Animate, choose Ease and Out and set the duration to 0.8 seconds. Last step, let's try the design we created and click Run for Preview. Now we're done. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials on Adobe XD. Thank you for watching.